So every conference I've been to lately, Copilot seems to be the hot topic. So I've been playing around with it a little bit and wanted to show you a few cool things that I've learned. So come into the customer ledger entries and click this little Copilot button here and click the analyze list. Now this analyze view kind of feature came out, I believe in version 23. Uh, it's been around for maybe about a year and I have found that clients are having a little bit of difficulty actually utilizing the tool. So Thank you, Copilot. Hopefully it's gonna make it a little bit easier. And I'm gonna show you a few of the things that I've tried today. Please note that this is still in a preview version. Um, I know it's still considered uh, beta, but uh, it is out on version 24 and you're able to play around with it. So in natural language, you can kind of now tell it what do you want to do or how do you wanna analyze these customer ledger entries? So I'm gonna say, give me a list of all open invoices grouped by customer and sort largest to smallest. All right, then I'm just gonna go ahead and click generate and it'll think for a few seconds here as it attempts to create my analysis view. So we'll give it a second here and then what it should do is it should create a list of those uh, invoices. Again, we're on our customer ledger entries so it might be a list of invoices and payments and all that kind of stuff. But what we can do is then further narrow it down because you can see down here, do I want to keep it or do I want to add more details? So School of Fine Art looks like they owe us 32,000, 6,000, 2,000. So it did sort largest to smallest like I asked it to. And if I click down here, it's even doing the invoices uh, largest to smallest. Um, I did actually ask for invoices, so there isn't any payments showing. So that's great. Um, and it shows me a subtotal and our total of everything. So maybe I want to add more details here, right? I've got the uh, document type here, but I don't have a document number. So I can go and say, uh, can you also add in the document number to this list? And I'm just going to click enter again. And it should kind of on the fly add that to your original view. So we'll see what it does here real quick. Alrighty, so let's drop one down. And it did add the document number. However, kind of logically, this doesn't really make sense, right? Why is the document number all the way over to the right? Usually you're used to seeing that uh, amount. So I can simply take this and I can drag and drop it. Um, to me, I think that's the easiest way. You can technically also ask Copilot to do it for you, um, but there's certain things that sometimes are just faster done uh, by clicking the mouse, right? Um, but with that, that creates my analysis view. You can see that I've got open uh, invoices by customer here. And I can rename that if I'd like, I can duplicate it, I can copy the link and send it to somebody, or I can come over here now and manually play with all of the other fields. So we can see that these are all the additional fields that are included in the customer ledger entries, but Copilot was very helpful in creating that initial list for me. And now I've got my first analysis view. So hope you thought that video was helpful. There's definitely more to come, especially with all the new features and functions that are coming out, but just wanted to give everybody a quick preview of what you can do with Copilot in those analysis views. Thanks everybody.